Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make soast lakies. Uh, soast lakies is a South African uh, pudding that we make here in South Africa. It's my mom's recipe and I've never ever made it before so uh, with the help of my wife we made this stuff. So let's get to it. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Okay, let's first look at the ingredients. We need some baking powder, salt, eggs, butter, milk, sugar, and cake flour. Method, take two cups of flour and sift it through into a bowl. For the guys who do not know, the size of one cup is 250 ml. Now what I really like about this recipe is that you can make it the day before, uh, you can put it into the fridge and you can heat it up again. And if you don't have enough sauce, don't worry about it because you can eat it with ice cream or with custard and it tastes good all around. Next up we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Then half a teaspoon of salt. Add one teaspoon of butter to the mix and rub it in. Next up, we're going to take another mixing bowl and we're going to add 5 tablespoons full of sugar or 15 ml of sugar. You can use white sugar. Unfortunately, I only had brown sugar, so I had to use the brown sugar. Next, we're going to add 2 eggs to the mix and we're going to use a mixer and mix it for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes of mixing, it will be white and have a thick consistency. Now let's add 1 cup of milk or 250 ml of milk. Take the mixer and mix the milk into the, to the sugar and egg mix for a little while until it's mixed properly. Then add the mix to the powder mix and take a fork and just lightly stir everything into the powder mix. Don't stir too much. Okay, now we need to make the syrup or the sauce. So we're going to use two cups of water. Now originally the recipe says one, but as you can see, one doesn't look like enough. 
and uh, I think it depends on the size of the ball that you're going to use at the end of the day but I normally use this one oh actually my mom usually used to use this one so uh, you can make the saws on three times depending on the size of the ball that you're going to use to bake in so uh, we decided to use two cups of water I just threw all the water into a different mixing bowl just to make the mixing of the sauce or syrup easier. Add another cup of sugar to the water. Now add a tablespoon of salt to the mix and also add one tablespoon of butter again. Put everything back in the bowl that you're going to use to bake with. Now you've boiled that syrup until it's all boiling and everything's melted down and melted into the bowl. And then you're going to take a spoon and you're going to scoop the other mix into this boiling syrup. As you can see, I was able to get 10 lumps into this bowl. Next up, turn up your oven to 200 degrees and put on the lid and bake everything for 10 to 15 minutes. And this is what it will look like once it comes out of the oven. I realized here that my syrup wasn't enough, I had too little. But like I said, you can eat it with ice cream or with custard as well. Now take some sugar and mix it with some cinnamon and then you sprinkle it all over the top of the pudding. I just placed everything back into the oven for a little while just to let the sugar melt a little bit. And then voila, this is what it's going to look like once it's done. Mm -hmm. Please head over to my webpage at www.cryptzone.co.za and come and check out the page. You will notice there is a lot of information on there. Hyperlinks are provided so that you don't have a problem going anywhere. Head up to my podcast page and come and see what am I currently working on on my podcast. There is also the Cryptzone live page which I will update regularly to let you know when I'm going to do the next show like this one. The goal is to try and do one every week. Head on over to my Cryptzone YouTube page and come and check out what are the latest videos that I am working on and also what new videos is up and coming. If you have any queries or questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can email me at shawl.reaper at gmail.com. And that's it guys, that's what it looks like. Um, I will put the whole recipe down into the description below. And then uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell icon if you want to get notified of any further uploads. And uh, if you enjoyed this, then let me know. Until next time, cheers.